We all know of tales of heroes sleeping by the fireside, clad in nothing but a cloak. When I've done this myself. It can be easy, it can be hard, depending on the circumstances. I'm going to show you another technique drawn from this book, Wildwood Wisdom by Ellsworth, Ellsworth Yeager. He published in 1940. And although it's uh, full of cartoonish drawings, he managed to capture a lot of ancient outdoor skills that are otherwise lost today. So we're gonna explore one of the ideas, see how we can make that apply. Obviously one problem the ground has and that it's flat, and I'm not. So one trick I want to show you is I'm going to carve holes for my shoulders and hips. Move this material for where my head would be. There's my shoulder hole. I'm measuring this. The location for my hip hole. Now, of course, your ground may be harder or softer than I'm showing here. So, the mileage is going to vary. Okay, that's step one. It's still cold and wet. It was uh, frosting here this morning. So what's going to happen is my body heat will radiate into the ground and I'll slowly freeze. That's not good. So what we have here in my bedroll Braided, braided hemp rope. Wrapped up in my blanket. I have this bag of um, brown duck cloth, canvas duck. And so, what I'm going to do. Spread it out over the pile of dirt I moved, over the hip and the shoulder holes, and I'm going to stuff this straw very well. I finished stuffing my bed sack full of shredded corn husks, hay, beech leaves bracken or other material. In this case I'm just using straw. At the point any dry dry vegetable material could be used uh, to fill your stuff sack instead of a, a rubber or rubber cushion or inflatable mattress. This is something you can carry with you. So lying down on this, here I am. Okay. Double this over for a pillow. That's the next step. So far what I have is a comfortable mattress that I could sleep on. As long as it's not raining tonight, in which case I would need a shelter if it doesn't get too cold. Um, below freezing. Expected to be about 35 tonight. So what I'm going to do is build a primitive sleeping bag with two blankets. You notice how they're overlapping the spot where I made the mattress. 
is two blankets thick. And I'm gonna take this blanket over me. As long as I don't take my shoes off, I should be, my feet should be okay. But I decided to get my feet a rest, take my shoes and socks off. I should allow it to make, make sure those are covered up. And there I am, two layers on top, two layers on the bottom. Nice, a nice primitive mattress under me. The only thing that's missing at this point is a small fire right about there. From here, you could potentially build it, maintain it, feed it. I'm gonna keep my logs here in front of the fire so they stay dry and uh, ready for the morning. This would be how a ranger could, could bed down for the night.